Hey homo sapiens and mobites, it's me Rogue Mob is Scott and welcome back to the channel and if you wanna know how I got this look then keep on watching <laughs> mm. So we're gonna start off by shaping out our eyebrows and I'm not going too thick and I'm not going too light but I'm just making sure that these eyebrows are looking kind of fleeky for the look. So as you can see I'm just filling them in, shaping them up and then I'm going to cut them by putting the concealer just underneath and on top and then I'm just gonna blend that out so that it looks seamless. So as you can see I'm just putting the concealer on, I just dried off my brush and now I'm just using the excess on the brush just to blend everything out. I'm also going to use my finger to blend everything out but if you know how to do this then you really don't need to do that as you saw there I just placed a line just where the um, eyebrow starts just to make that more sharp and snatched and then after that I'm just going to go in a little bit with that brush using the foundation or concealer should I say just to blend in those eyebrows before we go on to our next step so prepping our eyes I'm using a white mixer foundation and I'm just putting that all over my eyelids and I'm then blurring the fine lines out with a um, damp sponge. Then I'm going to obviously go on and set that so it doesn't move or smudge or crease or whatever with some translucent powder and then I'm going to create the eye look. Now I'm going in with my first transition green and I wasn't too happy with how that was looking and I wanted it to look more sharp in my head so then I go in with some what tape did I use? This is actually masking tape. So I go in with the masking tape to create that sharp look that you're going to see later on. And then I continue blending in with that first green. Then I'm going to go into a second green and I'm going to focus that directly underneath the first green that we've done, just blending it in with a fluffy brush because I want these colors to look opaque, but I also want them to look blurred out because we're gonna go darker. Now I'm going in with my third colour and I'm using that on my eyelids, primarily just on the middle bits and I'm going to blur that into all of the other greens just so that you can see there's a gradation. So going in with a black, I'm going in with the outer corner and making a wing for myself and then I'm going to keep blurring that and then add some green on top of that so it's not stark black but it's more of a dark green, which I don't have, surprisingly enough. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to add some more of that green, the lighter green that I placed, just to make it more prominent. And then I'm just going to blend everything and make sure that it's all cohesive. Going in with a shimmery and um, dark green. You don't really see this, but it gives a nice um, luminosity to the look when hit by light. Now to create my wing with an eyeliner, I'm using a black um, eyeliner today and it's a pencil and I don't normally use pencils because I'm really scared of them but today I decided you know what I want this to look sharp and I want it to be stark black and it actually paid off using a pencil for the first time making sure that my pencil was a little dull because if it was too sharp then I wouldn't have got that correctly going in with some mascara and um, we're going to continue with the look I'm not going to put my lashes on yet because I haven't finished doing what I'm doing with my eyes just a quick spritz of setting spray to help keep that eyeshadow stay in place and then I'm going to take off my straps of masking tape and then I'm also going to go in with some translucent powder and put that all over my face just to get rid of all the shine and oils on my face before I go on to use my chosen foundation for the day and if you want to know what foundation this is this is the Primark foundation and it's in cool espresso so I'm just placing that all over my face yes it's over on top of powder and I'm going to blend that in using a damp beauty sponge. So today's look I actually kind of want my skin to look a bit ashy on the ashy side I want myself to look very dusty because of the whole masquerade theme you don't get masquerades anymore and masquerade balls but when they did they kind of looked ashy from what I've seen so I kind of wanted that to go in hand with my makeup so I'm trying to look ashy but still alive I'm going in with um, a rich espresso from Primark I'm now going to contour my face and I'm just going to contour my cheeks then go up into my uh, brow bone and my forehead and obviously my chin area just to make sure that there's some warmth but keeping the middle of my face very ashy looking. 
now going in with some concealer this is also from Primark I believe it is caramel <clears throat> I'm just going to conceal underneath, underneath, underneath my eyes and create a more ashy look underneath my eyes just because I just didn't feel like they were ashy enough so um, when I was taking pictures afterwards I was absolutely gobsmacked by how this looked in cameras yes the photo is a little edited insert picture here and I'm going to do my nose and then after I've done my nose and um, blended that out I'm just going to um, set that using a white translucent powder and it's very it's very stark white if you're lighter skin it it actually blurs that you've even got any wrinkles which it's very cheap I'll leave that in the description if you want to know so this is the powder that I'm using to create that ashy look on my face and I am putting loads on it, it doesn't look like it but I am but you can see that I'm starting to look ashy now so I am absolutely happy with this look so far Now I'm just spritzing my face with some primer water because I'm going to go in with some more powder just to bring back the warmth where I've added warmth using a um, powder, obviously. Um, well, this powder was from, oh, this was Bobbi Brown. So I'm using Bobbi Brown just to bring back some warmth to the perimeters of my face and I'm not being too careful because it's going to get messed up anyway. Now using my favourite spray from Avon, it's a, um, it's a natural... Um, tanning spray so your tan gets gradual afterwards now highlighting my face and um, yeah just making sure that that highlighter is popping as much as it can be I mean it doesn't really matter because it's all gonna get messed up very very soon so just highlighting this look because I you know I wanted to have a pretty look before I went on to becoming all infected now eyeliner, now eyelining <laughs> my waterline with the same black um, liner and then smudging that out with a brush and then we're going to move on to being pretty. <laughs> going on to lips, we're going to use MUA Luxe in green and I believe this was a Halloween lipstick that I got last year and it's still going and yep I'm still doing that. I'm creating a heart shape on my lip and that's basically the lipstick today. Anyway, we're going to now move on and dirty up this face. Going in with some liquid latex, I'm just placing that liquid latex all over my face, as you can see. And I'm using um, tea to put on my face. So basically, the tea bags give like the whole texture to the skin before I do this whole ripping stuff. But I dried that liquid latex on my face so it started to rip but if you want it to be easier then make sure it's kind of still wet before you start making holes. Anyway moving on I'm going to place that piece back and then go on to colouring on the, the infection. Going in with the yellow from the Bruce palette from Maron. I am going in in those places where I want it to be highlighted and look like there's pussy and infection. Moving on to the brown, I'm now going to go around all of those yellow parts and I'm going to blend, blend, blend with that brush. I'm using the same brush, I'm not even going to change the brush in this whole video just because I just feel, feel like it adds to the grossness of the look. Going with the red, I'm going to go in very randomly placing that everywhere, blending and adding and just, you know, continuing to go. I do add some greens afterwards and then go back in and, you know, place some more yellow onto the infected parts, but you'll see this very soon. So how I came up with this look, I don't normally watch YouTube um, videos or um, tutorials, however, there was this one time this week that I did and I came across Glamangor who I've been a follower for so many years now and I saw her do an infected video um, for one of her series for Halloween and I just decided you know what I want to do this because I have bought a costume but I don't know what to do with it so this is how the look came and we're closing up to the end of the tutorial before I get dressed and finish off with my hair Oh, and as you can see, it's quite evident that I added some fake blood. I didn't have a banana to do some pus, so I just opted to go in with a banana. And I'm also using these curly thingy majigs to do my hair too. So guys, that's how I got the look, and I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you learned something as well. And also, 
don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also share this. Share this video, share this video. <laughs> share this video. Sad to go, but I'll see you soon. And the next video. Bye. <laughs>